So you're using Eternos to host your Minecraft servers and you're getting very high ping. Let's see how to fix that. The first thing that we're going to do is obviously fire up our server and head over to options. Now in here, scroll all the way down until you see the time zone and environment settings. Make sure that the time zone is set to uh, wherever you live. In my case, it would be Asia slash Kolkata. And uh, environment, I'm going to use Java 21 because that's what Eternos recommends. And make sure that you're also set on the recommended setting. If you're watching this video right about now, it would be Java 21. In the future, it might be a different Java version. You can find the one that you're supposed to use, which will have the star next to it. Make sure these two settings are in place. Then we're going to move on to software. So if you're running mods on your server or if you're running plugins on your server, you need a software to install all of it. You need to have a mod loader that works with all of this. All right, so which one do we use? You have tons of uh, mod packs or software as Eternos likes to call it. I personally use Forge because I like installing all of my mods in a very manual manner. Uh, but you might use something else. You might use Quilt, you might use Neoforge, you might use Fabric. Uh, what you should be using is PaperMC. Uh, what PaperMC does is that it's uh, really well optimized for online play and uh, any of the mods or anything that you install, the plugins that you install with this, uh, often tend to run with uh, low issues and it also sort of improves performance for Minecraft uh, running on an Eterno server which is already limited in resources. So this, if you're using something like uh, I'm using Forge, so I'll just quit. if I need to switch, just go to Paper Bucket, install the latest version, make sure that the game version and the Paper Bucket version match. That is very important. Uh, so go ahead, click on Reinstall because I had installed it in the past. It will delete my current world and create a new one because you're adding a whole new bunch of series. So you can go ahead and create a backup if you like. But I'm just going to go ahead and reinstall this, and um, that's that. This is PaperMC is now installed. So now you'll have to come back to plugins and install uh, any and all plugins that you might uh, need once again. Uh, definitely get clear lag. That just helps getting rid of all of the common usual things that can cause problems in your server. And uh, well, you can install any other plugins you want by just simply searching up for them. The next thing we're going to do is uh, take a look at our files. So head over to the files section from the left. And, and now, depending on uh, what kind of thing you have installed, you might see different files here. For example, I only have spygod.yml. Uh, you might see other files like uh, bucket.yml or uh, other things like that. If you go to plugins, you can see that this folder is empty because you don't have any plugins at the moment. So uh, spygod.yml is the only file that we're currently working with. So depending on which file you have available, the number of changes that you will be making will also be different. Uh, in this particular file, uh, we can change a few attributes. So we can come back here. We can uh, log villager deaths because that helps you finding uh, different things. So yeah, all right. For example, we have uh, this. Uh, we have a uh, arrow despawn rate. So when do the arrows despawn? Trident despawn rate, when does the trident despawn, uh, whether or not zombies are aggressive towards villagers and so on and so forth. And if you keep on scrolling, you will find entity activation ranges, for example, animals, monsters, raiders, miscellaneous, water and villages, all of this. So uh, just go ahead and start reducing these numbers because that is what's going to work best for you. Depending on which particular file you end up seeing in this place, I will put up a table on the screen that will sum up all of the changes that you need to make uh, based on different settings and so on and so forth. So you can refer to that and have your server fixed up and running uh, without any problems. So last but not least, it's always a good idea to go ahead and check your internet connection. Um, if you're running into any problems, uh, make sure that you're connected to the internet, make sure that you have a good Wi-Fi connection and good enough speeds for you to be able to play Eternos and that should resolve the server ping issues that you might be facing. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media and if these videos don't help you out as much, do consider getting a membership. That's it for today, we'll see you in the next video.